Hello and welcome to my unwrapping and first look at the brand new Warhammer 40,000 Codex Adeptus Sororitas or Sisters of Battle. Um, this Codex will cost you £30. It's a huge amount of money. Uh, I don't think this should be any more than £25. Um, I do like the fact that it's hardback. I didn't pick up the special edition because they're not limited edition. I mean, they are limited, but they're not limited in numbered, mainly because I'm not a huge fan of this cover art. Uh, much like the Space Marine one, they're trying to humanize, emotionize um, these uh, weapons on the front covers by not having the helmets on. Um, and uh, yeah, for me, it just doesn't work. Uh, also, you've got these big Paragon war suits like the Nundams, which, which don't work either. So yeah, if I do like the front covers, I will uh, pick up the limited edition, but if not, I'll just uh, get the, the normal um, ones. Another thing to note is this set you about £30, so that's the norm now uh, for codexes. Really sad day, um, they should be 25 I always thought that maybe a big codex, like the Space Marine one, that's well over 200 pages, should be 30 and the rest should be 25 but no, they're, they're showing up with the 25s for all of them and uh, they really do offer you not as much content as the Age of Sigmar ones. It's one of the reasons why I moved over to Age of Sigmar. Anyway, let's uh, unwrap this and uh, have a look at the codex. If you've seen any uh, you know, other videos on YouTube doing the rounds, uh, you will have noticed that the upcoming Sisters of Battle patrol box contents is also in here. Uh, they have been promoting their con combat patrol boxes like they did with the Start Collecting sets um, for a while now. Uh, they, they first preview in here uh, to, you know, to advertise the patrol box. Um, the patrol box isn't that good. And, you know, it's, it's all right if you missed out on the army set uh, way back in November 2019. Um, but then again, you know, if you did miss on that, did you really want it as much as you do now? But uh, yeah, you just get that army set and a rhino extra um, for your £85. I mean, if you missed out on it, yeah, it's definitely worth picking up. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, if you have seen any uh, unboxings and reviews or first looks at these, um, that's from people that have been sent them for free and early. Um, I don't get sent anything for free. This book is, is quite thick. Um, I will compare it to the, uh, the older book. Um, there are 128 pages. Uh, this is the, uh, I say older book. It only came out in November 2019, but the official release of the Codex was very beginning of uh, last year. This book consists of 112 pages. So you are getting uh, 16 more pages here. It is made in China. I always like to uh, add where certain um, products are made. It doesn't make that much of a difference because all of their books and their dice and their scenery are all made in China because they own a bookmaking factory there. So let's slowly peel this open and we'll go through this um, page by page. So we've got Adeptus Sororitas there. You've got all the rules, the army rules, um, the data sheets, published in 2021, got the introduction. That's quite nice. That's really nice. The matriarchs. Hierarchy of the Adeptus Sororitas. You've got the Emperor, right there. Uh, and then you've got the Abbas Sanctorum of the Adeptus Sororitas. Wow. You've got a Prioress. Morven Val, Abbas Sanctorum of the Adeptus Sororitas. You've got the Wars of Faith. Celestine, the Living Saint. Ephrael Stern and Kiganel of the Bloody Tears, Warzone Varentia, The Order's Militant, I love the page furniture in this book, it's very nice, The Order of Our Martyred Lady, We've got Junith uh, Arusha, or Aruta, 
Order of the Valorous Heart. Order of the Bloody Rose, that's what mine are. Lovely uh, bit of artwork there. Order of the Ebon Chalice. Order of the Argent Shroud. Order of the Sacred Rose. Orders Minoris. Order. You've got the uh, Glowing Chalice, Thorn, Iron Veil, Ashen Shrine, Wounded Heart, and Golden Light. Non Militant Orders. Your Orders Hospitala, Orders Dialogus, Orders other non militant orders as well. Orders Famulus. Astrid Thurga, Reliquent at Arms. Uh, vestments of Purity. So here's some pictures of, I say the older models, they only came out last year. And uh, now you've got some new ones here with the Paragon Wolf suits and the uh, Sacrosants. You've got the Triumph of St. Catherine. You've got some new models down here. You've got Doug Marta with the Mace of the Righteous. Agathe Dolan, the Hagiolata, Hagiolata, Astrid Thurga, Reliquent at Arms, um, so it's just a banner bearer and a grandma. You've got the uh, Castigator tank, that's uh, due to be released soon I think, and that's pretty much it. The rules. Battleforge rules, army rules, match play rules, crusade rules, data sheets, war gear, points, rules, reference. So there's your combat patrol, that's what it includes. So everything from the army set with a rhino. I mean, it's quite good because the rhino is £35, so you're paying £50 for all of that, um, which is quite good. You've got uh, battleforged armies, detachment abilities, the orders militant. Here are the orders. So you've got uh, Martyred Lady, Valorous Heart, Bloody Rose, Ebon Chalice, Argent Shroud, and Sacred Rose. So, Minoris Convictions, Stratagems, Blessings of the Faithful, Warlord Traits, Hymns of Battle, Relics. I must say, I really like the. I've already said the page furniture, but the the feel of the book is lovely. I like the uh, pages. It's fantastic. Chapter approved rules. Crusade rules. Trials of a living saint. Trial of faith. Trial of suffering. Trial of purity. Trial of righteousness. Trial of valor. Agendas, Requisitions, Crusade Relics, Crusade Army, very cool there, and Data Sheets, Sacred Rites, here we go. So you've got Morven Val there, you've got the Canoness. Palatine, Junith Aruta, or Arusha. You've got a missionary. I've actually got a picture of a missionary this time. Um, I wish they had made a, a new model for the missionary, though. Celestine and Gemini Superior, or Gemini Superior. Triumph of St. Catherine. So look how many HQs we've got now. Still got another one to go, look. A Frail Stern. Nice to see a Frail Stern in the same book now. So you've got a Battle Sister Squad and... Primary assistant? No. <laughs> Almost had you. Um, you know, you've only got one troop choice for the whole of sisters. You've got so many more elites and HQ choices. But elites, you've got these two new models. Astrid uh, Thurga and Agathe Dolan. Or Dolan. Um, it's interesting for Games Workshop to release a codex without the newer models. I I mean, they, obviously they did it with uh, Space Marines and Necrons. But um, yeah, it, it, it's odd. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's odd because normally they, they release codex with all of the new stuff um, or they release the codex a little bit later on. You've got the Imagifier, the Dialogus or Dialogus. There's the Preacher. 
the Celestian squad, the Celestian Secrescence. So look how many elites we've got. Wow, so many elites. Um, so yeah, the Secrescence, the Hospitaler, the Dogmata, the Paragon War Suits are elites, and the Repentia Superior. Still more elites. This is just an elite army. The Elitus Sororitas, I think. Elitus. Yeah, Elitus Sororitas, I think. Sisters Repentia, Crusaders. Are nice models, but, I'd, I'd, you know, they're in fine cast, and I'd like to see them updated. Arco Flagellants and Death Court Assassins. Then we're into Fast Attack. So we've got the Dominion Squads. You've got the Seraphim Squad and the Zephyrim. Interesting change that the Zephyrim are now fast attack and they used to be elites. Hmm. Heavy support. So you've got the Retributive Squad, you've got the Mortifiers, you've got the Penitent Engines, you've got the Exorcist, and then you've got the Castigator. So here we can see the, the shells of uh, this um, tank. You've got the Sanctified Shell or a Pyre Shell. Um, Sanctified Shell is a nice D6 72 inch range LAS cannon. With a, with a very decent AP and uh, damage. The Pyre Shell, you can potentially get um, nine shots uh, and the enemy don't get cover. So that's cool. You can give it Castigator Auto Cannons. So not just any old Auto Cannons, Castigator ones. Now you could be pumping out 12 strength seven shots with those things. That's amazing. You got the Sororitas Rhino. Nice, I like that. That's a Really cool layout. Um, the Immolator, nice 18 inch 2d6 heavy flamers, and then the Battle Sanctum as well. Get some rules there. You got the weapon profiles, there they all are, ranged and melee. You got the points values, the Castigator is 160 points by the way, and Mervyn Vall is 265, making her the most expensive model in the whole book. Got the glossary and the reference, and then your code in the back whereby you can use the uh, book. Um, you know, you can unlock the codex uh, in the app. So, there you go. That's my first look at the Codex Adepta Sororitas. I'm looking forward to get my teeth sunk into this and um, doing a big comparison between the, the you know the older like eighth edition um, codex. I'll have them side by side and we'll we'll go through everything. I'll try to get that video out soon, but um, bearing in mind this whole month is night month, and I want to focus heavily on nights. What do you guys think? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.